Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to build really this must-have cover for your garden. It's very versatile. It can be used just like this anytime as a trellis. You can grow peas or beans up it. You can get two of them and just angle them together like a triangle, tie the tops with some string. It's going to be a nice A-frame for trellising. But this is really designed to cover the raised beds here that are outside my garden. This setup will stop rabbits, squirrels, and deer from getting to your seedlings. And the way that it's set up, like these little corner pieces, I'll talk about them in a second, you can, you know, put a brick under there and you can kind of just set the frame down and raise it as high as you want. So as your vegetables grow, you can raise it. Rabbits aren't going to want to go in there. Deer aren't going to put their head under there. So you can raise this frame. But it's going to protect your crops from deer, squirrels, rabbits, and even birds. A lot of times birds like to get in and peck your seedlings. If you're interested in growing crops for the fall, I have a scan and grow collection. These are five fall crops that I recommend growing. Frost tolerant. You can get them at my seed shop. And when you flip them over, you can just scan the code and it's going to take you to a video to help you um, plant the seeds. It'll give you all the information you need. A lot more information than what's kind of crammed on the back of a seed packet. The whole key to this construction is just a scrap piece of wood. I think this is a one by three. When you build the frame, rather than just screwing the frame together right there, it's going to be weak. Just put in a block of wood. Two screws go in, top, the bottom. If you were going to want to raise this, in your soil you just put a brick down like this or a block of wood and it just sits on here. And this is the way that you can raise this. Let me show you what it looks like down on the bed because that's what it's designed for and then we'll get to the construction. I like constructing projects that have multiple uses in the garden. This way you can use them for multiple things obviously. Right now, it's going to be a cover so that the animals don't get to my seedlings down here. And just wanted to point out, there's the brick back there. So you could set up bricks, you know, pieces of wood, whatever you want to raise the frame. But this was measured length, width, to sit right on top of the raised bed. It would look something like that. And you can just see how it's completely covered. Nothing's going to get into here. And there's enough room with the depth where the soil is for the plants to really get growing. Peas could grow through this. Um, you're going to have to raise it, you know, if you're growing heads of lettuce, mustard greens, and all the different cool weather crops. Perfect for root crops, like if you're growing some carrots and radishes in there, even bib lettuce, it's going to stay lower to the ground, you know, and it's really lightweight. So, a couple of things. When you build the frame, you can build the frame out of anything you want. I recommend, you know, these smaller pieces of wood, lightweight, and it's sturdy because you are putting it together like this. I was going to do a construction video with all the pieces, but I, I don't really think I need to do that. Two screws right into the block. This is a one by three. You could use a two by four. And then two screws go right into here. This secures the frame at every corner, and this is going to really last, you know, forever. Staple gun, a basic staple gun to put in well, to put on the chicken wire. You can use any kind of metal on here, any kind of metal fencing. Chicken wire is the least expensive, it's effective, it's lightweight, and you just want to make sure you go down and really secure it here. You can get chicken wire that's, you know, two feet wide, three feet wide. You might want to build a frame that matches the roll that you buy. This is two feet, I believe, and I had to cut, you know, another section to cover it. Not a big deal works really well um, just like this but you want to just want to stress the frequency of the staples going all the way down this builds a really durable frame and in fact you could even use it something like this so you could have the frame a little bit hard to do one-handed you know coming down like that and then there's another piece right on the front makes a little tent right over this perfect for trellising if you don't want a higher trellis. It can be picked up and trellised this way. You just put some posts right up here and secure it and you have a great trellis and you could just, you know, harvest your beans that are hanging down from there. But this is just a beautiful design for really protecting your plants where you have pressure from birds and other animals. Just wanted to give you a better visual on how you can use this. So two pieces, one would go right up this way, 
one part of the triangle and then another one could come right down here beautiful way to trellis some of your lighter crops I don't think this would be great for melons or anything like that but if you upgraded the chicken wire to stronger type of metal fencing you could trellis heavier crops up that you could leave it like this you know you want to secure it better but gives you an idea of what you can do with this and otherwise it just goes flat down over the surface protects your crops you could build something this size and it could go over a group of containers you know you don't have to you know think that you have to make you know round screens for containers just the containers could fit under that use the bricks use some sort of supports around it like table legs you know smaller than a table obviously but you could raise the screen up and down over containers that's going to keep the animals out also if you're growing taller crops maybe you have mustard greens or something over here pak choy bok choy radishes over there you can just prop the side up deer aren't going to want to put their head under that they don't know what's going on rabbits are too skittish to get in there squirrels of course they're pretty brave they would get in there but I don't get squirrel damage that often the birds could hop into that but it's going to give them protection too or give your plants protection from the birds too but you can just design something like this or of course you just leave it flat until the seedlings are nice and strong and then you can just slowly just raise one side but again my point is that this is really versatile and you can use it in so many different ways in your garden the parts list is pretty simple you're going to need two long pieces of wood whatever shape size that you want for the sides and then a third piece that you're going to cut into length you know for the width that would go right in here any one by three two by four any kind of scrap wood because the whole key to this is just cutting a block out putting it right here and then screwing the frame two screws on this side two screws on this side you have a solid frame I wouldn't go too large on these pieces here because you want it to be lightweight chicken wire you're going to need snips to cut it you're going to need uh, two and a half inch screws two inch two and a half inch screws to go into the block of wood you're going to need a power drill and that's all really to design this pick up a staple gun they're they're pretty standard it's just a basic uh, staple gun I think the staples are t50s you'll understand that when you look at them but when you buy the staple gun you want to make sure you match the staples to the gun type so that the staples work and you just staple the chicken wire right onto here super lightweight easy to store versatile you can really build this for under ten dollars it's inexpensive and it's gonna last years and years so you get your money's worth very versatile spring summer fall use growing vertically is a great way to save space that's gonna help save you money grow more too because you can just trellis right up that if you're interested in growing frost tolerant crops or getting your cool weather garden started please check out my scan and grow collection linked in the video description and you can pick up these beautiful seed packets and again just use just scan the code on the back will take you to some instructions to help you plant better thanks so much for watching please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and give this design a try it can really cover containers raised beds and it can be used in so many different ways Thanks for watching.